Watch you guys got another video on how to block all Windows advertising. Now in Windows 10 and Windows 11, there is advertising bundled in the actual operating system. This collects information of all the places you go and all the things you do and sends it back to Microsoft. So if you want to disable all of this, I'll show you how you can do it in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. What we need to do is head over to Do Not Spy 11. I'll leave the link in the video description. There is a free download here. So let's go ahead and download it and we'll get this installed onto the computer. So now we're going to go ahead and click on the executable file and then click run to install the actual program on our computer. So click run and then you should see a little pop up box coming up. And uh, what we're going to do is say OK here to install. And what we'll do next is say agree to the terms conditions, click next. And now we can go ahead and click next again and next again and next. You can create a desktop shortcut if you wish. Click next and then install onto the computer. And before I show you the program, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then click on the link in the video description, click the Buy Now button, and then use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've created an account with them, uh, they will send that key to your account. You can then head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So let's get on with the video. So what we're going to do now is open up the program. Now we've got the program open. You can see we're on Windows 10 version 22H2. This also works on the latest Windows 11 version 22H2 as well. And here we can see there's a bunch of advertising. This is all collecting data and sending it back to Microsoft. And most people don't want this on their computer. So if you're looking to disable all of this stuff, all you need to do here is select all and you can uncheck mark some of the ones you do want to keep like camera, microphone, and there's a bunch of others on here which I'd advise you to leave alone, like the smart screen filtering, which is used for your protection. And also there's a bunch of other stuff here as well, which you can uncheck if you wish. So make sure the red ones are unchecked because these can go wrong and any ones in the orange if you wish to deselect them you can do but I'm going to leave some of these check marked so once I go through here I'm just going to quickly go down and check some of these I do not want to disable any sort of automatic updates and I also don't want to disable any automatic updates for the Windows Store either so I'm going to uncheck that as well once we're done here we can apply this to the computer that we're using here now, of course, if you want to make changes to yours, you can do. You can leave some of these alone and uncheck them if you wish. I'm going to go with what I've got here. Now, before I apply this, it's going to tell me that I need to create a system restore point just to make sure that if you want to go back or you break something, you can do. Now, of course, these come without any sort of warranty, these programs. So if you're going to use them, you use them at your own risk. Once you're happy, click on apply. And you can see here, System Restore is currently disabled, and this will enable it for us. So, do you want us to create a System Restore point and activate the System Restore point? I'm going to say yes, and then do you want to create one? Yes, I do. And it will go ahead and create a System Restore point for us. This way, if something goes wrong or I want to roll back, I can do by using that System Restore point that Do Not Spy 11 created for us. It's always advisable just to have a little safety net. Now, all of these settings that we're applying here are completely reversible. I can reverse these and go back to default settings if I wish. Now, if you're one of these people that don't like tampering with Windows or tweaking Windows, that's okay. This video is for educational purposes and to teach people how to do it if they are looking to do it on their computer. Or maybe you're working in some sort of PC repair shop where someone is requesting you to disable all of the telemetry and advertising on Windows and now you'll know exactly how to do it. So there we go, there is the disabled only, they're the ones that I've left and the enabled only will be on the radio button when I put it in here. And again you can reverse this completely by taking the check marks out and applying it and it will also reverse the settings back to default if you wish. So it's completely reversible but this is how you can basically disable all the advertising or telemetry on Windows. Pretty straightforward and easy to do using Do Not Spy 11. So pretty nice little program. So you can see here 
it will say the blue is safe to use, orange is read the description, red is do not recommend, and gray settings have been changed since the last uh, time uh, do not spy 11 was used. A pretty useful little program, that one. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to DNA Gecko, PC Repair Tech, Gary Belts, James Cobb, Rock and Roll Rebel, Welsh Tony One, David Lees, Waleed, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Celtic Lag, Big Daddy, also Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and I shall catch you in the very next video.